Digital Yuan (eCNY) is the central bank digital currency of China. We often call central bank digital currency as CBDC. In the digital era, money can take a different form from the traditional form like cash or coins. So CBDC is a digital form of a country's official currency issued and regulated by the central bank. It is backed by the government's credit. If the government has bad credit, the currency will lose its value. A CBDC is a liability of a central bank in a digital form. It represents a claim on the central bank. It is similar to cash or coins, but also a liability of a central bank except that the cash or coins are in a tangible form. Our money in the commercial bank is not a liability of the central bank. Instead, it is a liability of the commercial bank. Our money in the popular electronic payment app, such as WeChat Pay, is a liability of the company running behind WeChat, not the liability of the central bank. So you can see, the CBDC is a big deal. If a commercial bank fails, you may not get your money back. This has happened many times in the history. But the central bank or the government is unlikely to fail. So CBDC is considered risk-free since it's backed directly by the government. Central banks all over the world are actually right now exploring central bank digital currencies. But a few countries have actually launched the CBDC as a legal means of payment. The People's Bank of China is a pioneer in exploring CBDC with an early stage research starting in 2014. Since 2020, eCNY has been promoted in pilot cities and 17 provinces in China. It is one of the first few countries that have widely used the CBDC. The amount of transactions in eCNY has reached about 8,000 billion yuan in 2024. Many merchants and online shops accept eCNY in China. You can pay eCNY to purchase goods, to eat at restaurants, to take subways and get salaries in the form of eCNY. So when the merchants accept eCNY as well as any other payment tools, we actually won't notice the difference between eCNY and the existing online payment app. Many other countries would like to learn from China's CBDC experiment. There are many designs on eCNY. I will talk about three appealing features of it. The first, eCNY is actually issued directly by the central bank, so it's loosely coupled with bank accounts. eCNY users need to download a digital wallet to store eCNY, similar to a physical wallet to store cash. Payment transactions can happen between two eCNY wallets instead of two bank accounts, so it can function like cash with automatic settlement, unlike bank transfers without automatic settlement. The second, eCNY installs smart contract features, meaning it's a computer-coded currency. Our grid conditions and the rules can be programmed into the digital currency. That's cool, right? So that eCNY payment transactions can be executed automatically when certain conditions are triggered. For example, a major smart contract application right now is in use is called Secured Pay. It's an application installed on eCNY for storing the prepaid deposit from customers. Customers need to sign off each time when they spend eCNY from the wallet before the prepaid funds can be actually transferred to the merchants. This can help prevent merchants from taking the prepaid funds and running away. Traditionally, the merchants could use the customer's prepaid funds and go bankrupt without returning the funds, so people will lose money. So this smart contract feature is particularly useful in business that traditionally requires consumers to make a lump sum payment in advance of the actual consumption, such as we pay for the gym cards or we pay for the tutoring business. The third, from a design perspective, eCNY follows a two-tier system. In the first layer, the PBOC issues and redeems eCNY with 10 designated commercial banks. In the second layer, the commercial banks serve as the main intermediaries and exchange eCNY with the general public, like us. The People's Bank of China doesn't actually deal with individual users directly because eCNY is issued directly by the central bank. The two-tier operating system actually helps alleviate competition between the central bank and commercial banks, prevents 
disintermediation of commercial banks and avoid disrupting the existing banking system. So in summary, China plans to expand the application scope of eCNY as a general payment tool. It will also explore many more application scenarios to make eCNY an appealing payment tool to use domestically and internationally. Thank you.